Some of the most common types of neurosurgery that we do include brain tumor surgery, aneurysm surgeries, and traumatic surgeries um, for head, head trauma. Typically, the brain uh, tumor patient uh, often presents with increasing headache, possibly nausea or vomiting, or appetite changes or unusual weight loss, and they may have uh, localized weakness or numbness or clumsiness. And it's not unusual for family members to notice these things before the patient themselves. They typically come to their doctor or the emergency room and get evaluated by a CAT scan or an MRI of the brain. Then when the structural mass is noted, a referral is made to a neurosurgeon. Brain tumor treatment planning includes typically a biopsy and depending on the location and or features on the MRI scan, possibly a complete total resection. Surgery is only part of the treatment in most cases. Typically, adjuvant therapy, including radiation or chemotherapy, may be needed as well. The typical brain aneurysm patient comes in with an acute, sudden, severe onset of headache. And this is typically described as the worst headache of their lives. And it requires emergency room uh, visit. It may be associated with nausea, vomiting again, or hypersensitivity to light and or neck pain or stiffness. Once in the emergency room, the physician typically orders a CAT scan and or does a lumbar puncture to confirm the diagnosis. This is followed by a cerebral angiogram and once the cerebral angiogram defines the location of the aneurysm and its structure, a consultation is made by the neurosurgeon and interventional radiologist and a team approach is typically applied to try and tailor the best treatment for the patient. Open surgery for brain aneurysm involves a craniotomy where we remove a piece of the skull and under an operative microscope fix the aneurysm. Unfortunately, one of the most common uh, things that neurosurgeons deal with is traumatic brain injuries and this involves a fairly young to middle-aged population due to motor vehicle accidents, etc. There's a wide range of traumatic brain injury from the very mild uh, concussion to the most severe with coma. Patients typically come to the trauma center and are evaluated. Often an intracranial pressure monitor device is implanted just deep to the skull to measure the pressures in the brain. The goal of treatment is to supply adequate oxygen and nutrition and blood flow to the brain. Oftentimes, intervention is required and there may be blood clots that need to be removed and in worst case scenarios, a large part of the skull needs to be removed to allow swelling of the brain to occur outside to prevent pressure on the critical deep structures of the brain which can lead to brain death. In summary, neurosurgery is an exciting and developing uh, field of surgical treatment of brain problems and the degree with which uh, we have precision and control over what we do and the patient has improved patient outcome and I anticipate that going forward that will continue, that trend will continue.